Hello friends, in this video I'm going to create a Laravel and Vue 3 dependent dropdown with a Composition API. I have created a fresh Laravel application and I have installed the Vue 3. So here it is. And also I have added in the welcome blade, I add the app.js and the dropdown component, view component on it. And also the title in CSS with CDN. Uh, in the web pack, I just add the dot view here. And you can find the video how to install view 3 on Laravel in this channel if you want. Okay. Also, I want to show you is I have created a countries and cities tables and add uh, four countries and four cities and the city has the country ID because are related. Okay, now I'm going to open the api.php inside the roads and here I'm going to create a, a road get and so going to navigate in for the countries and add country controller. I have created that. It's empty, but we are going to create methods now, right now. So get I'm going to say get countries here. And the same thing for the cities. And it's going to change to be cities and also the road, the URL. We need the country ID, so I'm going to say country and cities. Okay, hit save and close the API route. In the web, we have only the welcome. Okay. Now I'm going to open the country controller and we need to create two methods here. So function with the name get countries and here I'm going to say countries country all and import the country controller country model sorry and now return response json and the countries also create a function for the get cities and we expect the country here And now I'm going to say cities is going to be city model uh, where country ID and add the country we have here and get. Okay, and also here we return response and response json the cities okay it's save and close that one now in the js app js i have import i have the view and also i have imported the drop down component and the axios because we are going to create a get request with axios and add the component drop down here. Okay, open that component. So drop down component. And here we have text view three component drop down and the selected model uh, country is hard coded and we are going to work to fix that now, right now. Uh, first of I'm going to do is 
here I'm going to say setup and uh, we need to import something from view so import and I'm going to import ref and also on mounted from uh, view and now here I'm going to say const for countries is going to be ref and an empty array and also const for cities ref and an empty array okay down there i'm going to return that so return and countries also cities save and go back you need to run the npm run watch to boot the assets i'm going to open the developer tools and we have view here the drop down and if i refresh we have city and country and our empty arrays okay now i'm going to when the unmounted i'm going to populate the countries so for that i'm going to say unmounted and it's going to be an empty object countries I'm going to say Axios or no, a better I'm going to create a method here. So const get countries and it's going to be Axios dot get and API countries. So in our API dot road, we have the countries and these countries, country ID and the cities for the cities. Okay, so we are going to navigate to that countries and then the response. It's going to be a uh, country's value. Okay. Dot value is going to be with the response dot data. And uh, now on mounted, I'm going to call that get countries. And also I get countries here. It's save and come here and refresh. And now we see we have four countries in our countries array. Okay. Now we have countries. We I'm going to do is uh here I'm going to say a V4 country in countries and I'm going to add the key country.id and the value is going to be also country.id and here I'm going to display the country name. Hit save and come here and refresh. 
and we have all of our countries now we need to update the cities and also display the cities and i'm going to copy this one and add it down here but change this to be city and also all the all this with the city change the city and also here to be cities it's safe come here and refresh now we have a city but we don't see any city because the cities are empty array okay for that we need uh const and i'm going to say selected country and it's going to be ref and by default it's going to be one and here now i'm going to say v model for the selected country and also we need to return that selected country okay save and uh, refresh and selected country is one if i choose another yeah we update the selected country okay now i want to update the cities and for that i'm going to create the same thing a method so const get cities and it's going to be the same thing as the get countries okay axios copy that and paste it here but we need to add here the country id and i'm going to say plus and selected country value okay also we need to add cities here because in the api routes we have countries country id and city okay so countries country id and the cities and now here we need to update the cities not the countries so cities value is okay also i'm going to add the get cities and uh, i think we are okay I save and come here and refresh now the cities are empty but if I select Canada uh, why we don't update the cities yeah because we need that here on change on change and we need to call the get get cities okay it's safe and now refresh i think we are okay now so choose canada and yeah we have cities and yeah choose another okay this is how we can uh, make a dependent drum tone with Daravel and Vue.js composition API. Also here I'm going to, if you want to hide this city, if we are not uh, selecting there, we can do with v if v if uh, cities dot length and dot length is greater than zero 
hide that and we don't show okay but if i click any update yeah okay friends hope you enjoy and see you in the next one the next video is going to be uh, this dependent drop down and create another with live wire and see the differences okay friends all the best